हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन माय लास्ट सेशन आई टोल्ड यू स्ट्रेसेस इन ए रेल ड्यू टू वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ फोर्सेस वर्टिकल फोर्स लेटर फोर्स लॉटरल फोर्स एंड कॉन्टैक्ट स्ट्रेस टुडे वी डिस्कस हाउ दिस लोड इज ट्रांसफर्ड टू द स्लीपर फ्रॉम रेल द लोड इज ट्रांसफर टू ए नंबर ऑफ स्लीपर्स एंड दीस स्लीपर्स आर एम्बेडेड इन द बेलास्ट द स्लीपर्स take the dead load of rails as well as dynamic load of the field the maximum load which is coming on the rail seat that will depend upon the rail section it will depend upon the condition of the track course the maximum load which comes on the sleeper maximum load on sleeper or when say on rail seat It is given by P into S upon Z into L. Now here P is the dynamic load or V load, you can say. P is V load. S is the spacing between sleepers. section modulus of rail section section modulus of rail and l l is the characteristic length of the rail and that characteristic length will be equal to fourth root of e i upon k where e is the modulus of elasticity of the rail section or steel i is the moment of inertia and k is the track modulus and i defined this parameter track modulus in my earlier sessions now this load is about 30 to 50% of the v load we can say dynamic v load which comes on the rail seat and each sleeper supports two rail seats each sleeper supports two rail seats now it is difficult to determine the wheel load distribution in a sleeper because it changes with time it changes with the condition of the track it changes how properly it, it changes with the condition of the last in a new delayed section the end of the sleeper is firmly held by the belast and this is the rail here Arms are fully supported. These ends of the sleeper are fully supported, and therefore the flexor in the rail, the flexor in the sleeper, will be like this. It will deflect under the load, and the flexor at ends will be zero. In a newly laid or well compacted track. Now these are called end-bound sleepers. and bound sleepers because sleepers are firmly supported at their ends due to passage of the train because of vibrations in the track because of cohesiveness property of the belast the support at ends start loosening it becomes loose and deflection at ends becomes more than the deflection at the center so in a after certain repetition of the load or after certain passage of the train the belast or the ends of the sleeper gets loose and the condition of this will be like this that it will have maximum deflection at at the edges and very little 
that PC of critical pressure at depth H is PA upon H power 1 to 1.25. 1 5.24 into PA upon H power 1.25. Unit of PC is same as unit of PA and H is the same unit. Now, if you want to find out any pressure at the real distance of X from the load, here at this point, at the depth H and the real distance of X, then this equation is.
Now here, slightly higher values are permitted for locomotives because of their less number, because of their smaller population, because their wheels are small as compared to rolling stock. So that is how we calculate pressure on formation. And this pressure should not exceed at any time permissible values. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any suggestions, you can write in the comment box.